Yo, just another brick in the wall here. I just uh, left my parents' house because it was my sister's like birthday party. Her birthday was a, like two weeks ago, but we're finally just had like a little family get together. And uh, it was super rad because I showed up and uh, was just expecting like, you know, my parents and my sister, maybe her boyfriend, family like that. But I show up and the first person I see was my grandma, which was super crazy because I haven't seen her for like two, three years maybe. Like it's been a really long time. And uh, it was really good just to hear about you know my grandma's life how things are and just kind of like learn more about my grandpa we're talking a lot my name's Lamont I got a grandpa Lamont he's no longer with us god rest in peace but it was really cool talking to her and kind of learning you know how my grandpa thought and whatnot and you know I am such a you know, I like the rural lifestyle. Like, I like farms and ranches. Like, I want to have animals one day and all that jazz, you know? And I never realized that that was exactly like my grandpa. Like, my grandpa always lived, like, rural, you know? Like, he lived by the Lake Mead, like, at the fish hatchery, kind of outside of Boulder City. And then, you know, they my grandfather wanted some like mountain property you know so my grandma said for eight thousand dollars he was able to buy the land up in mount charleston and man this is what i'm talking about people like that's where the value is my grandfather bought that land in mount charleston for eight thousand dollars in like probably the 70s or 80s around there or whatever. I should have asked when it was, but maybe even a little bit later, but probably around then. And man, he built a beautiful house on there. It's like a log cabin. And for that $8,000 he spent, you know, that land was my entire like childhood, bro. Like I would go up there for all my Christmases and have family Christmas up there and, you know, go to Thanksgiving at my grandma's house in the mountains. Like, that $8,000 he spent turned into lifetimes and generations of memories and fun. Like, that is the best investment of all time. Like, he's no longer with us, but we still love this house like my aunt is living there right now so she got her kids up there and all that you know so like that house will live on for generations like one day like when my parents are gone and my grandma's gone like that house will be like mine and then when I'm gone like that'll be my kids like my siblings kids like but just my families you know for generations and that's what I'm talking about like man that's where the real value is like you could buy a house that's like worth like a million dollars and like I could live in that till I die but when I die it's probably just going to be sold and moved on to the next person you know but not if you have like land, like that land will live on generations and generations because everyone wants and needs land, you know? So that was just super cool to kind of realize like, damn, like you never realize how much your family really has an influence on you until you really kind of have moments like these like I thought it was really kind of a unique idea for me to be like wanting to have all this land and own animals and the ranch kind of lifestyle in a way you know and little did I know like 
I kind of knew, but I never really took it into consideration like I am now. Like, my whole family is like ranchers. Like, they all own horses and all that. So, like, dude, to be like a direct descendant, I literally have the same name as my grandfather. Like, how could I not know that that would have been in my future, you know? Like, that's just so weird. Like, I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, you know, and it's just like I spent so much time in my life trying to figure out what I want, what is this, what is that, and then, you know, the thing that you were kind of destined for the whole time has just been right in front of you the entire time, and it's just been part of you the whole time, and I just haven't discovered it yet, you know, that's the weirdest, trippiest part. It's just like, I've always been who I was supposed to be and who I have meant to be, you know? Man, it's so weird. Just took a lot of trial and error to kind of get there. But once you get there, you're like, duh. Like... This type of living and lifestyle has been in my family for generations. Like my great grandmother, rest in peace, she was about 97 when she passed on. 97, I think she was born in 1920 something. Like, they lived in northern Nevada and had a horse and buggy, you know? Like, they didn't even have a car, no nothing. Like, those are some hardy folks. And, you know, I'm kind of just like the direct descendant of, like, settlers of the freaking, like, Oregon Trail and all that jazz, you know? Like, I'm kind of the people that just didn't quite make it to the Oregon Trail. And they settled down in northern Nevada and central Nevada. And now, I was born in Vegas in 2000. So it's interesting, in a world that's kind of just moving away from ranches and all that, moving into a place, you know, the, where just the city life is kind of more valued than anything. It's just interesting to kind of be striving to kind of go back in time, like how my grandparents lived. And, Instead of just kind of striving for the modern day uh, expectations. So it was really cool. I don't know. I uh, love seeing my grandma and I'm excited to see more and kind of maybe ask her more questions about life. And there's a lot of stuff I want to know. So I kind of never really thought about this before, you know, like I should be asking her questions about my grandfather and all that because, you know, my grandfather. I didn't know him that well. I was pretty young when he died. But, you know, that was always Grandpa Lamont. And that always kind of had a special place in my heart. Like, we're both Lamonts, you know? And uh, so I want to learn a lot more about him. And especially now, like, I was just listening to my grandma talk about how she got so sick of venison because my grandfather would go hunting and they would just have deer meat every freaking night, you know? And that's, like, exactly how I wanted to live, you know? How I want to live. Like, there's... I had no idea that my grandfather has been doing it this whole time. So that's just cool to know that, like, that life is in my blood, you know? And... I don't know. I'm just excited to kind of get more involved, because, uh... That's definitely the direction I'm striving for. So it's pretty cool to know that I have a whole family that can kind of support me, you know? And I can support them. So, that's dope. Spend time with your family, yo. And, uh, yeah. Have a good night. Peace.